Hello, welcome back to a third LibGDX tutorial. Now today, we're going to quickly go over shapes instead of images. So, we don't care about any of this stuff that we did last time. Because yet again, we accomplished almost nothing. Except for knowledge, knowledge is important. Alright, so how do we create shapes? Well, we have something called a shape renderer. Renderer. Uh, I'll call it shape. And let's import it, or you can control shift O if you want to be speedy. Oh, drop my glass. Okay. So shape will instantiate it equals new shape renderer. Boom, that's it. That's all we have to do. When the application starts, we create a new shape renderer, which is the exact same thing as the sprite batch that we went over before except it draws shapes, not images. And, oh crap, I have to remember what this is. Okay, we're going to go back. Boom. Shape renderer, shape. Alright, so shape is equal to new. Shape renderer. Control shift O. Okay, so, yeah, we need to reset the screen. I can never remember what it actually is, so I just don't like to delete it ever. And then, like the sprite batch, we want to start, sorry, we want to begin, and we're going to have a shape type. Why are you so slow? Okay, so you're going to start your shape renderer, and you're going to have to tell it what kind of shapes you want it to draw. Uh, do you want it to draw a filled solid shape, or do you want it to draw just the outline of a shape? I think I'm just going to stick with filled. And then we're going to want a shape dot end. I want to end it. So now we'll be drawing shapes. Shape dot what do we want to draw? We will draw a circle. So this is the position. We'll do it at 100. 100 with a radius of 50. And, uh, I have no. Okay, so we have to set the color for that circle. So it'll be set color, color dot. And we can choose our color. Uh, we want. A red, a red one, yeah. And then we want to change the color again because we want blue. And then we'll do save dot uh, rect. And we'll do 300, 300, 20 by 50. There we are. And then we go down to our dispose method and we'll do shape.dispose. Boom, done. Nailed it. Perfect. So what we're doing is we're creating our shape, we're clearing our screen, we're beginning our shape, and we're saying, I want a filled shape. And I'm setting the color to red, I'm drawing a circle. So I'll get a red circle. I'm setting the color to blue. Then I'm drawing a rectangle. So I'll get a blue rectangle. Then I'm telling the shape that I'm done. You can draw the stuff now. It's all good. We can move on. And yeah, let's run this baby. Boom, beautiful. This is art. Power of LibGDX. All right, so now that we got that down, we drew a few shapes. Let's go over this stuff. So I'm just gonna copy. I'm just gonna copy this and stick it right here. Oh, we don't need the render method. Okay, so these are just the methods that we just had, and we want the dispose method to dispose our shape. Not dispose. Okay. So beyond the render method, which is where we render, it runs every frame, and the create method and dispose method, which we've already talked about. We have these methods, which are of some importance. 
uh, pause basically when your application, when you're like looking at notifications or something. This is only for Android, but when the application is paused or in the background for whatever reason, then it'll run the pause, and then when you stop pausing it, it'll run the review, the resume method once. Uh, you don't have to worry about it that for now. Uh, resize, resize is something you can look at. Uh, I'll show you if you look at the terminal in the bottom when I run the application. You should notice things happening. Okay. So when I create it, it resizes because it's starting. But I resize it again. And I resize it again. And I resize it again. And I just keep resizing it. And these. Yeah. And so the reason we have this method is because aspect ratios are going to get really messed up when you're resizing things. So here, the circle actually looks like a circle. But when I make it big, it looks like an oval. So. To prevent that, we, as you'll see later on, but that's helpful for helping prevent the weird aspect ratios. So yeah, that's all I have to say for this tutorial. I want to keep them short. Uh, yeah, have a good day. Download Spank Jalapeno, Google Play. It's pretty cool. You don't have to. Whatever. Do it. Or I hate you. And... Yeah, have a good day.